Hey guys, Quiv the Lazy Geek here. Today I want to talk about a little problem that I had or a little trick that I found about uh, basically preserving back focus in my systems um, when I want to input, when I want to include like two inch filters in there. Um, back focus is basically, well, it can mean a lot of things, but in, my, in this particular case, it's the distance that you want to have between a lens or a telescope and uh, the camera sensor. So here is a lens that I have, which is um, a Sigma lens for Canon. And uh, the Canon system specifies that between the EOS mount flange and the camera sensor, we should have exactly 44 millimeters. And I have an adapter that I use from Astro Mechanics that's 19 millimeters in thickness. So it takes up a lot of those, almost half of these 44 millimeters already. And on top of that adapter, which goes to M42 threads here, I want to use a two inch CLS CCD filter that I have from Optolong. And obviously uh, 42 millimeters, 48 millimeters, they're not the same, so it doesn't fit together. The most immediate solution would be obviously to use a filter drawer. Filter drawer is simply uh, a drawer, as its name implies, where you screw the filter into the drawer, you put it in there, you lock that and you put that part as part of your imaging train. The threads on both sides of this drawer are M42, so it will fit with no problems. The problem with this one is that it's 15 millimeters thick. So already with the adapter here and this, I'm at about 35 millimeters of backlash um, eaten by those two things. And on top of that, there's the distance between the, the flange here and the camera sensor, which for ASI cameras is 6.5 millimeters, which eats up even more back focus. Um, I want to preserve that back focus because, you know, back focus lets me play around and add elements. And what I've come up with, and it was almost impossible to, uh, to add that without, to add this filter without doing so, was uh, basically move the filter from an M48 enclosure to an M42 enclosure with uh, the latest um, astro mechanics adapters actually you get an additional kind of uh, a fitting ring that can support m42 uh, m48 sorry filters and attached to the lens and then have exactly the right distance to the camera which is the ideal solution i don't have one of those so i have to make do do with uh, with what i have and so to make do with what i have is i take this uh this filter and I'm going to uh, use something like this. I don't even know the name of that thing. You can adjust the dist distance between those two uh, metal kind of knobs. And there in the filter uh, itself on the M48, there are two little notches um, here that you can actually insert this into very carefully and then turn to remove a locking knob, um, locking thingy. I don't know how to call those, from the filter. And once you've done that, you can actually pop the filter right out. So I can simply, boop, and I have the unmounted filter in my hand. Now what I'm gonna do with that unmounted filter is I'm actually, what I did is I bought um, a cheap adapter that goes from uh, M48, uh, so female, to uh, M42 male threads here. And from the same, company I bought, the reverse adapter, which goes from M42 female on the inside to M48 on the outside. And this one has little notches here as well, so I can actually use it with this if necessary. And so then all I need to do is take this adapter here and I can plop the filter into it. Obviously, you don't want to do it with, to do this manipulation with a very expensive filter like the OPD tri Triad. That's not something I would do. Uh, but this filter is a filter that I've been somewhat disappointed in. Um, so I don't feel too bad about go making it go through this kind of torture regimen. So I can just very carefully plop the filter into uh, the uh, adapter and then I take my other adapter which is going to be my my locking mechanism really and just screw it in because it's M48 to M42 and boop now I have my two inch filter that's in an M42 compatible enclosure and so what I can do is simply 
uh, put my um, Astro Mechanics adapter on. Then I can put the filter on and now it supports M42. So there's uh, no issue in doing that. There we are. And then I can actually use my camera like 11 millimeters. So this one is 13 millimeters to so have exactly the right distance. Um, M42 female, female kind of uh, adapter and connect my camera. And now that I've connected my camera, I have the exact back focus distance that I need. And I still have like 13 millimeters of useless space that I can use for something else uh, in the future. So it can be very powerful if a bit barbaric uh, kind of solution to deal with uh, two inch uh, filters in an M42 kind of uh, imaging train. And uh, that's it for this video. So I hope this, you know, could have been useful. Maybe it's a very niche case and it is a very niche case, uh, but it's something that was useful for me. So I thought I would share it. So thank you for watching. And uh, if you liked it, click like, subscribe. Um, and if you did not, uh, dislike, unsubscribe. Uh, but uh, I hope to see you next time. Thank you.